Well, it's March already, and March came in like a lion. Hopefully it'll go out like a lamb. It's supposed to get nice this week. So I surely hope so, and I bet you do too. And so here are some examples of art from artists who have their birthday in the month. Um, it, it's kind of beat up right now. Elaine de Cooney, Giovanni Tiemplo, Juan Gris, Dian, Dian, I think it's Diane, but I might be saying that wrong, Arbus. Um, if your parents were born in the 60s, they'll appreciate her photography and it'll bring back many memories. I uh, don't think I can move this to say everything. This hangs in our hallway and is there for you to look at if you come in. And I just want to show over here is Georges de Levator. He did a lot of stuff with um, different kind of light, candlelight. And this is a beat up picture from Pierre Mondrian, who did a lot of just straight lines and shapes. Um, and primary colors. So today we're going to focus on Vincent van Gogh, whose birthday is March 30th. I, this is a portrait he did of himself. So with that in mind, this will be a paper you get if you do want to do this project. And right here, I'm sure it says um, it below that you may have seen this picture before. It's called Starry Night, and that's what um, Mr. Van Gogh is famous for. But there are lots of beautiful sunflowers that he also did. And they're actually a one still life that he painted over a few times. They're one of the last paintings that he did. And they're quite cheerful and pretty. And I thought since spring is coming, um, they are a summer flower, but sunflowers are always nice. So I thought that could be our project for this month. So if you get our little packet, you'll get a piece of uh, white paper, and then you're gonna just get a multitude of um, yellows, oranges, oranges, greens, um, may add brown, and I may add blue, but I'm going back and forth on that. So to start what um, your project is, you might want to look at Mr. Van Gogh's paintings of sunflowers to get an idea um, or look online at pictures of sunflowers and or just play by ear what you think a sunflower looks like because Sometimes it's fun to just rely on your memory. So we're gonna do a vase of flowers. So the first thing I thought we should do is make the actual flower. And I left my other colors in the room, the other room. So what's new? Hmm. But that's okay, I'll use what I have here. So to start my um, sunflower, Sunflowers are usually a yellow, a type of yellow, a bright yellow, a dull yellow. Sometimes they are a little bit of an orangey yellow. So I'm just gonna take this one since it's right in front of me. And you can do either an oval very, very gently. So I have an oil pastel, which is um, something you'll get in your packet. And I kind of, just draw a circle to have, you know, a guidance of the shape of the flower. And since these flowers might be falling over or um, turned a different way, you don't have to really worry about them being perfect. And you can make the sunflower's leaves. They're fairly small and they're short. And you could make them like this, or if you want to get fancier, you could use like a wave sort of shape. Um, Mr. Van Gogh, just show that again, some of his. Um, you can see that they're kind of falling over. So the leaves are kind of going all different ways. So you get a, like, it looks like a lion's mane almost. You get a little crazy, I guess. 
but then it's gonna be, um, you're gonna have to cut it out, so keep that in mind. So I'm just gonna do a real fast, and I just, I'm doing zigzags, so you could do that. And then you're gonna get your scissor. and cut it out. Now, once you've cut it out, you can add some other, you could um, add some other colors. You'll have some yellow like and your orange. Um, I might, if um, I have enough, I'm gonna put two yellows in each packet. And I'm sorry, but they are old. <laughs> And a little beat up but they work just just as well and it's also a little bit messy oil pastels so um, maybe cover your table with a newspaper or something um, or just let your mom know that you're gonna do this mom or dad or whoever you live with I should say um, and um, it comes off but you don't want anybody getting upset with you so just let them know what you're doing and it's a little messy and it'll wash off your hands pretty easy and sometimes I even use like baking tiny bit of baking soda with my soap to scrub it off and that doesn't hurt and stuff like that so now I have my sort of um, sunflower shape and we want something for the middle now some sunflowers have a smaller middle I love the ones um, that, that grow over New Pulse with the huge, the really big centers. So this one, let's see, maybe I'll use this orange. And I'm just going to eyeball it and cut a big circle. Sometimes I draw things first and sometimes I do not, but I've been drawing for a very long time and cutting. So sometimes I'm okay without not, without drawing it first, but I recommend it most of the time. So now that I have my circle in the middle and go back to the drawings that I have, oh, these painting reference. And you notice that it's not just one color in the middle he did for the most part, there's other colors. So one of the colors you will get is a brown and then you can decide. Maybe you want to do crisscross, maybe you want to look like, make it look like it's got seeds in it. Um, maybe you want to do a little of both. And now maybe I want to Take my orange and add a little here and there. Maybe on here too, because it will show up. And once you're, you know, so maybe you make this one and so now glue it. Um, if you don't have glue at home, please let us know before you pick up your packet. I might be able to get, I, well, no, I'll definitely be able to give you some. Just let us know. All right, so I've got my flower and adding, adding a little bit here. Maybe not every one. And then I'm like, man, I don't know. What do I want to do? So what I would do maybe is make all my flowers first. And then, um, and, and maybe do a little decoration with them, but don't glue them on yet until you have all of your flowers made. Now, the other thing you're gonna need is a vase, and vases are symmetrical. So that means, I hope you know, but maybe you don't. If you fold something and it's symmetrical, the things are gonna line up, and so your hands are kind of, well, they're supposed to be symmetrical, but they are a little different from each other, but they pretty much line up and are perfect. Your face, if you put this line down the middle, and if you could fold it in half, you know, it's gonna be like that too. Um, this thing of glue, if I cut it down the middle and folded it, you know, this side is gonna match up with this side, okay? So when you go to make your 
vase, which I wasn't going to do yellow, but I'll just do it. What you want to do is fold your paper in half, long ways, and even though that's crooked, I'm going to line up at least one of the edges, and then I'm going to draw my shape. Whoop. It's good when they break, really. So, I don't know, I just made that shape up. And I keep it folded, and I cut. And now I have my vase. And maybe, since I like the shape, the outline, maybe I wanna add that to the other side. And then I could go from there, you know, add more or less. So say we make all our flowers, we make our vase. I'm just going to turn this over and there we are. So these are my flowers that I made last night and they're here. I have a green vase, which I kind of like this yellow one. So maybe somehow I'll put it on there. I don't know. And I can always add my last flower. Ooh, if I did that, I could cover, hmm, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. But like I said, I could go back. Um, I glued these ones down. I glued them only in the middle, so they're like sticking up, which I kind of like. Of course, you can, you don't have to do that. You can just glue them all down. You can um, cut some zigzaggy shapes because the flowers, the um, some flowers do have Thing underneath you just can cut some zigzags or bumpy things my technical words here and then you could glue them down maybe if you want to make a few leaves you could do that like I said I've been you know maybe you want a leaf there so like I said if you want this we will give you the paper the um, construction paper, the white paper, some um, oil pastels. Um, if you don't have glue, we'll give you the glue. I also have some coloring pages if you want them. There's room in Arles. So let us know. I hope this video was a good one to help you get started. Have fun.